All right, welcome everybody. Today's video finds us down here in the heart of Bangkok. I came down here to Benja Kitty Park. I've been here a couple times and uh, done a couple of videos from down here. I've done some uh, like the day and the night, the two faces, and I showed the, uh, the reflecting pool here and the uh, city skyline all around, which was a pretty good time. And then I've also been over to the new part where uh, they've got the world's largest uh, skywalk. And uh, anyway, we're gonna go over there again today because supposedly uh, the phase four is open. So the whole park on this end should be uh, open and we should be able to explore and walk around. And it's supposed to be like the mangrove uh, forest area that they had in the uh, old tobacco monopoly area. So anyway, let's go take a look and uh, we should be able to enjoy this. So this is the original part of Benchikiti Park. And it's just right down here next to uh, Ratchita Pisek in between uh, Rama 4 and Sukhumvit. And then if you look off over that away, it goes over towards uh, Siloam area. But that's uh, the Queen Circuit Convention Center. And about two years ago, I was riding home from work and I uh, saw that they completely bulldozed the old convention center and they've been uh, building it. And it looks like it's about 99.99% done. They just have a little bit of the facade work and all of that. So anyway, hopefully that'll be open soon. And then uh, the Skywalk will actually go into the old, or into the new convention center from the southern end of the park over there. The old original part was mainly used for people to come over in the evening or in the morning and do some uh, jogging and bicycling. There wasn't a whole lot of flowers. There's a little bit, but not a lot. Most of it was just maybe a little bit of green trees like this and then just kind of some uh, concrete paths. So they've done a really nice job with uh, the new phases, phases uh, like three or two, three, and four that are uh, back over here. And parking, they've changed up the parking, so parking is now in the main lot. So you come in off of Ratchetapi Sec and you gotta pull through. You can't park in the old original Benja Kitty Park anymore. So we'll go over there and we'll look around at that and all the new sec. Okay, this part of the park right here, this is the second phase. And there's uh, some bike trails, a uh, little bit of flowers and stuff like that. But it's mostly just kind of a, like I, they just kind of have trees and stuff up around. It's not the most beautiful place. It's uh, just a green spot here in the city. And this was the phase two construction, the first part that they started building back over here. And it's mainly just around where the parking is at and they got the bathrooms and all that in this area. And you can see there's the bike paths and it's a popular place for people to come over. So we're gonna walk through here and we'll go look at the skywalk and then we'll go over into the, uh, the new part, the uh, mangrove forest area. Okay, so this is what separates Benjikiti Park from all the rest of them, is the skywalk right here. And they have it broke down into different zones. They have, uh, zone A, B, all the way down to zone G. And it talks about, uh, they have the, the lowland, they have uh, the mangrove forests, and they have the swamp forest trees and stuff like that. But this is the place where everybody comes over, especially in the evening, and they're doing all the Instagram and all of that from this little bridge. So let's walk across this bridge and we'll go over there and we'll look at the amphitheater and then we'll go into the new part. Looks like we have some graduates doing their photos and stuff here on the bridge. So uh, all of this you can see it's starting to grow up really nice. It's still fairly new but you know in five ten years this place is going to be absolutely amazing. I think it opened up this phase of it like a little bit over like a year ago. Maybe not quite a year but it's getting pretty close to a year I guess. And uh, this was all built by uh, by the uh, army, the engineers for the army, they came over and they uh, they converted this land into this park, and they did a pretty nice job. I came through here a couple times to look to see how they were doing when they were uh, first building it, and uh, it was kind of cool. So we'll keep walking up over here, just to give an idea. They have a couple places with like the elevated like platforms there where people can go out and take pictures. And then they have this nice concrete walkway down through the uh, kind of the little swampy area. So these are all man-made. They came in and they built all these little hills 
they planted trees on them and then they uh, they irrigated it and then they have the lotuses and the lilies and everything growing here and this is quite a bit more mature than the last time I came through last time I came through there was uh, barely any blooms on these uh, lotuses and the trees were uh, quite a bit smaller so this is really starting to take off like I said in about five years time this place is going to be absolutely amazing and then you can look right over there all those skyscrapers that's uh, over towards sea loam that's the Bangkok one and when I first came to Bangkok all of that area was like uh, I think it was like what the Sanam Luang night market and they blasted it all out and then I've since uh, built like a little city inside of a city and it's the Bangkok one it'll have its own office towers own condos it'll be the uh, uh, like a miniature city inside of Bangkok. Banks, shopping centers, everything will be in there. Okay, so this is the part that will eventually go into the convention center. So it's all finished up. They just haven't opened up the convention center. So this is closed off still. Okay, let's go over to uh, the next section. Looks like they've even came in and they've added some goldfish and stuff here. So you can see there's some pretty good sized fish. So they'll do a nice job of keeping the mosquitoes down. Yeah, last time I came here in the evening, the uh, mosquitoes were quite thick. And there's a little squirrel running around. Yeah, so nature is uh, reclaiming this a little bit. This right here is the middle of the, what they call the tiny forest and water retention zone and it's really quite nice yeah these the cattails have grown up quite a bit and the lotuses are starting to really fill in the little waterway and then right over there is the uh, the amphitheater so they have some plans I guess for maybe uh, live music stuff like that you never know what they'll be doing in there but I haven't heard of anybody doing anything in the park as of uh, yet I mean, they've had all the restrictions down with public gatherings and everything, but uh, maybe that'll change soon. And then right on the other side of the little walkway, you can see the, the flowers are coming in nice. All those little uh, mums that they have over there. Yeah, very nice. I'll have to go down there and take some pictures. They look quite nice. And then you can see the water lilies and everything. Yeah, this little walkway is fantastic. I mean, it gives you such a nice vantage of uh, looking down into the park plus you can see all around it and as you can see that Benjikitty Park is just shoehorned in amongst all of these skyscrapers I mean that's all of uh, Sukhumvit, Ratchet of Pisek and then all the way over there towards uh, Lumpanini Park and the Bangkok one and then down over on this way is uh, Rama 4 Rama 3 Klong Toy area over there. So when you're on that little skywalk, there's not many ways off of it. There's uh, an entrance all the way off to the west that's right here next to the amphitheater. And then from here, you can go off towards the south and uh, that goes into the mangrove area. But this little amphitheater is quite nice. They have the concrete seating with uh, grass in between it. And it has the entrance right over there. And that will actually, there's an entrance uh, exit of the park, but it's been locked up ever since they built it. But they have parking over there for bicycles and stuff like that, and then there's a, a road that maybe one day they'll allow people to come in from that away. And then you can look down into that uh, little forest area, and that's the skywalk. And as you can see, you walk all the way across that skywalk, all the way down to right over here, and that's the exit and you can get back on the skywalk. So we're gonna get on that skywalk and then we'll go over into the mangrove area. This park here is fantastic. They've done such a good job with uh, the new construction and then tying it into the old existing park. And the, uh, the creative minds that went into it is uh, they, they really uh, thought ahead. So it was, it's quite nice. A lot of times in Bangkok, you know, they have these projects that are like wishful thinking and then they they start them and then they just never really pan out or they finish them and then they never upkeep. And so if, in just a couple years, it's uh, deteriorating terribly. But uh, they've done such a good job here that this is kind of the, like the crown jewel anymore of the Bangkok parks. I mean, you have Rama 9 Park that's still 
yeah, amazingly beautiful. It's, uh, it's a popular park for people to go watch the sunset over there. And then the flowers, they have uh, like uh, flower shows and stuff like that sometimes during the year. And uh, I've made a video of that and it, it's very popular and it's in my, uh, my uh, playlist of uh, parks and stuff. And then I've done some of the other parks with Lumpanini and uh, uh, Rote Phi Park and Jatchy Jack Park and stuff like that. So you guys can check that out in my playlist. I'll put a link to uh, probably like Rama 9 Park in the, uh, in the uh, comments down there so you can see it if, you, uh, if you're interested in taking a look at it and comparing this park to that. So let's keep looking around. As you can see over here, there's some more of that concrete walkway. And they also have some uh, like jogging paths and stuff like that. And at nighttime, you can come down here and walk around. It's well lit. There's uh, security and everything. You don't have to worry about your safety when you're down here. There's also plenty of bathrooms. So, uh, you know, all you need to do is just come down with the plan to uh, enjoy the evening and wear a pair of comfortable shoes. And uh, you'll have a good time down here. This uh, skywalk is just fantastic. It's uh, a really a treat. I mean, I've walked almost the whole length of this park without being down below. And uh, you can get down below and walk on the little concrete pads and stuff like that if you want. You can get a little more uh, intimate look at the flowers and the, the wildlife that's down there. So this zone over here, they're calling it the uh, vegetation from freshwater swamp forest. And you can see it has some uh, more of the cattails and the aquatic plants and the lotuses. Looks like that tree there didn't make it, but that's the only one I see. Well, there's a couple more over there that aren't looking too healthy, but the rest of them have really started growing in. Kind of tape, taking shape and there's some vines and stuff starting to grow up on them. So this will just be dense, like a swampland within uh, probably another year in this part. Okay, so we're almost to the uh, far north part of this walkway. And you can see how the, the walkway has dropped down. You're more down to uh, ground level. And over there, that's all the old tobacco monopoly warehouses and stuff. I've seen some, a few videos where people have went in there and they you know, had the old equipment and stuff like that. So I'm not sure what they've left in there, if there's any type of uh, museum or anything. We'll try to get in there and walk around here in a little bit if possible. Okay, so at the far end of the park, if you keep walking up on that uh, skywalk, you come up to what they call the Green Bridge, and then there's the little path that goes along the canal, and then the, uh, it crosses over the, the expressway, and you can go over to uh, like Sukhumvit Soy 4, and this is uh, the how you come in. So it's uh, just open and you can walk right in it. So we're gonna go walk over there now to uh, those warehouses. This is the end of the walkway at the north end of the park. It's uh, zone A or Skywalk A. And then uh, just to kind of give you an idea that how the mangroves have already taken over this little walkway. You can uh, see in here, they have a little bit of the aquatic plants. And I'm not sure what these are, but they, uh, they are gigantic leaves and they have a little purple and white flower. Now there's uh, the little monitor lizards and stuff that they've uh, introduced here. So if you're walking through here, don't be alarmed if you see them. They're, uh, they get quite long. I mean, they're eight feet long or so when they're, they're uh, full grown, but they're mostly uh, scavengers. They eat like the dead fish and stuff like that. And they'll also catch the fish that they, uh, they can that are swimming around in there. And they can climb trees. They're, uh, <laughs> they're kind of an amazing animal. But uh, I've never heard of them attacking a person, so you don't have anything to worry about. They'll scurry away when they see you coming. And you can see how the cattails and all of this have uh, seriously grown up already. And there's a sign over here, but it's uh, completely covered now in the vegetation. It doesn't take long in the tropics. These are pretty nice. You can see the cattails are bloomed out. I can't remember what these are, but I actually had these in my uh, water garden in uh, the States. I bought the... Uh, tropical plants and put them there. They died, of course, in the wintertime when it's, uh, you know, 20, 30 below. But uh, 
they were nice for a short a couple short months and then we're going into the little warehouse area now doesn't look like they've done a whole lot here yet but we'll see if there's anything interesting they have the uh, the roof that's open looks like they've covered it with the pro panel over there and then they have these red nets I'm not sure what that's about here's a couple of the warehouse buildings that they've converted kind of to be open and then they have those other ones over there now I figured out what those red nets are for you have some slides over there for the kids and these are just some uh, like little rope net things for the kids to climb up on also and have a good time out here in the park now it's kind of hard to imagine now but if you went back you know a few decades they actually were growing tobacco here and they grew it on this they processed it everything from right here now this is some of the most expensive real estate in bangkok i mean sukhumvit is uh, just a stone throw away from here and now they're all modern high-rise you know condos and office towers and stuff and uh you know, right here next to all that, they were uh, growing tobacco. So how times have changed. They have a little three-story building there. So it looks like they have the, that building blocked off. It's too bad, I was actually uh, kind of excited if I could get up there, it'd be a nice view of the park. Let's look around these little warehouses just a little bit more. So inside this last little building over here, they have the bathrooms and all of that. Now on the map it says a uh, museum, but it doesn't look like there's any uh, displays. These are just big open halls. You see they have some of the equipment parked underneath it, like uh, the little motorcycles, stuff like that. Other than that, it's just open. Nothing really much to, uh, to write home about here. Now right on the other side of this, that goes into the second phase where we uh, where we came in and saw the sign for Binja Kitty. So we started out over in phase one where it had the lake and then we walked through phase two right there. And phase three was the first part of the skywalk and this is phase four over here. Well, that warehouse area wasn't anything to uh, write home about. Just a bunch of big open empty buildings. That's kind of a little bit of a disappointment. But anyway, they, uh, the mangroves are nice all around it. And now let's walk down through the park and I'll show you the last little bit and then we'll, uh, we'll call it quits for, for this video. I wanna go and I wanna look at some of the flowers and stuff while we're down here on the ground level. You can see some of the uh, water lotuses and stuff. And that's that little concrete walkway that kind of snakes around through all these uh, little berms. And these little flowers right here are quite nice. I don't know what they're called. They just have these uh, little long things that comes out. Looks like those are the seeds. It's like a type of uh, grass of some kind. It's coming just straight up out of the, uh, the water. And then you can see some more all around here. And some lily over there. That's a big lily with a humongous leaf. And they got tons of birds. You hear them just going off calling each other all around. So I'm sure the bird watchers are out here with their big telephoto lenses, taking pictures of the different birds. This is down here in the middle of that freshwater swamp forest area, they call it. You can see just uh, all the vegetation, how green and lush everything is here. Now this is mid August and it's uh, rainy season. We've been getting rain about every day. So everything's really green and nice. So any, uh, anybody watching from places like Phoenix, Arizona or Las Vegas, Nevada, when it's uh, scorching hot there, it's scorching hot here, but it's green as opposed to, uh, to brown. <laughs> and it'll be just like this in uh, February. It'll be just like this in December. We got the crows over here taking a little bath and they're quite vocal. They're a big crow. Okay, so I saved the best for last. They have all these 
little flowers all around. And the ties come down here and pose in front of them. The uni kids are out doing their graduation pictures. And this is just right along the side of the bike path. And then you have the sky bridge right up there, or the skywalk. And then you have the little concrete walkway, or concrete platforms over there to pose on and to look around. But this is quite nice. And it's just right here in the middle of uh, the park. And there's places you just can walk along, you can jog, you can ride your bike. And they have uh, little concrete seating places like these over here. There's drinking fountains, bathrooms all scattered out through this park. So this is quite nice. We have some of these white ones right over here. Definitely nice. And these trees, they grow really fast. I've seen these trees grow, you know, like 10 foot in one year here in the tropics. They're quite amazing. They're a softwood though, so they, they can grow really fast. At home, you'd get those pines that would grow about a foot a year, much different than here. And some more of the flowers they have and it's just right next to all the wetlands. And then they have the purple ones on this side of the road. And they have those with like a little white flower. And then they have like the birds of paradise. Just a bunch of color right here. Really a nice treat in Bangkok. Since you're surrounded by millions and millions of people, there's just not a lot of green space. And with this being where it is, and how big it is, it's really nice. You can see these are some really brilliant colors. All right, everybody, that finishes up our little walk around here in Binja Kitty Park. As you can see, everything is open except for the one little walkway that goes into the new convention center. This is definitely worth uh, your time if you're here and you have uh, some time in the evening. Come out here and walk around in this park. You will not regret it. The pictures are nice, the environment is nice, and it's kind of cool to see, you know, how Bangkok just kind of circles this whole area. It's a, a nice break away from the shopping malls and all of that stuff that's in the main part of Bangkok. And to all my uh, people that enjoy these, uh, sorry it took me so long to make another park video. I really, really like doing these parks, but I've just been busy doing other stuff. I've been going to the beaches and other stuff that's really a, a tough, a tough dude, a, a tough road to hoe, I guess. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, if you like this video, make sure you click like. And if you're new to my channel and uh, this is the first video you've seen, this is the kind of videos I do. I just go and I do like a, an open narrative where I just walk around and I tell you a little bit about what's going on, what I see, and tell you what I know. So if you like this kind of video, then uh, subscribe, stick around, and you can support my channel by uh, the subscriptions. Uh, it helps me grow. It also lets you be notified whenever I post a new video. That way you're notified and you can see the new content that I create. I'm pretty active, so and I, uh, I go around, I just show you everything that I see. So uh, yeah, smash the like button and leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. If you like this park, tell me. If uh, you want me to do something different, tell me that also. And I will p uh, pin a comment down below to a couple of my other videos, like uh, the Ramanine Park, and I may pin a comment also about this, uh, this park whenever I did an earlier video. I went into a little bit more detail of phase three. So anyway, guys, from Bidja Kitty Park, right down here in uh, the heart of Bangkok, remember, life is a journey. Enjoy.